Good morning. How are you today? I am coming to you today on this Thursday with some more astrology and I hope you guys are excited. I am super excited to share just a smidge more about the planets and about um, the constellations. Really more about the constellations than the planets but um, for today. But to start, um, we talked about the sun signs, what they mean. We talked about moon signs, what they mean. We talked about the light and dark of each moon sign in each, um, you know, for each constellation. Now I'd like to share a little bit about the aspects of them, meaning for each one of the zodiac signs, which are the constellations, there is a, an element associated with it as well as a masculine or feminine quality. So for, for the masculine um, qualities, that's more like action oriented, that's more like forward movement, momentum. For the feminine qualities, it's a little bit more going within, it's a little more emotional, it's a little more, um, it's a little softer. So the masculine is more like pushing ahead and the feminine is more like kind of staying still for a minute, assessing, regrouping, kind of getting a deeper understanding of which way to go. So. I want to share with you which signs are masculine and feminine and what element they're in. I think it might be fascinating for you to go back if you have your um, sun and moon sign already uh, to see where, you know, what, which, one, which ones you have more of. Like, um, you know, especially if you have all of your, your planets. So if you run a natal chart um, online at ibelieveastro.com is a great place to do it you can see all of your planets and where they were at the time of your birth. So that will give you a sense of, are you a little more masculine heavy with your planetary makeup? Are you a little more feminine? Do you have a nice balance? Are you missing um, an element? Are your elements balanced? So that's it's really, really interesting. And it gives you a deeper understanding of yourself. And I'll go more into the details around that as time goes on, but that's just the, the basic gist for now. So the planets that are, um, so there are, are earth planets, air, fire, water. So we're going to start with fire and the, the very first zodiac sign, Aries, is fire. Um, so Aries is fire, Leo, and Sagittarius. They're all fire and they're also all masculine signs. So if you know anyone that is a, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag, Sagittarius, you likely find that they have a fiery side to them. They've got a like uh, a big, bigger than life sort of presence. They they let you know they're there. Okay, next let's go and move to Earth. Earth signs they're a little more grounded. They uh, obviously and they're a little softer. Usually it depends on your other planets and how they interplay, but they're usually a little bit softer. And so uh, the earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And if you know anyone with these signs, you'll you'll likely find they're they're pretty they're pretty reliable and um, trustworthy when it comes to keeping your word, getting things done, that sort of thing. Okay, the next is Air, and the Air signs are. Um, masculine. So I don't know if I mentioned that the earth signs are feminine. So the, and the air signs are masculine. Okay. So air signs, uh, Gemini, uh, Libra and Aquarius and air signs tend to be more in their head. Uh, they're, they're fairly smart, analytical, logical, um, definitely a, um, somebody that would be more book oriented or, or a love of learning and uh, it's a masculine sign. And then finally, water. Okay, the water signs, they're absolutely feminine and they are softer and they, um, they definitely have a, uh, some of the water signs can have a bit more of a mysterious quality. So the, the water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And uh, Scorpio, if you know anything about Scorpio and or you know anyone that's a Scorpio, um, the sign, or, or I'm sorry, the um, animal that's associated with Scorpio is a scorpion. 
Um, so they can have a little stinger, they can have a little zing to them. Um, they, they're more of like the, the deeper waters, the depths of the water sign, not so much the, uh, you know, that there's a softer quality to them, but it's deeper. It's a little bit different than the quality of a Pisces or a Cancer. Uh, so I, I hope that this is helpful for you to have a better understanding of each one of the signs and how they have qualities in and of themselves, but there's a, an overarching quality to them too, based on the element that they're associated with and the masculine and feminine quality associated with that element. It's really, really fascinating. And when you start to put all those pieces together and you get a deeper and clearer understanding of how these elements and these signs interplay with you, it's really, really neat to see how you can shift your life, have a more uh, more of an awareness around where you are, maybe where you'd like to change or improve an aspect of you that you're not super loving at the moment. So uh, please let me know if you have any questions, any thoughts, uh, would like me to expand on any um, aspects of this, either comment or send me a message. I love to hear from you. I read everything and I uh, hope that this was helpful to you and um, yeah, I guess I will see you here tomorrow for Flower Friday. Uh, remember, we learn from one another. I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.